Shalom. I want to start off by saying all praises and honor and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechak Kadash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone, whom I have learned this truth from, who do rule well. And salutations unto you brothers and you a few sisters that take heed. Alright, coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Um, I'm going to title this lesson, uh, Everything That Has a Beginning Has an End. You know, uh, before I get into it, I'm going to play a clip from uh, one of my favorite movies, The Matrix. And this is the third one, Revolutions. All right. Um, and yeah, I'm going to play the clip and then Lord's will bring out uh, edification through the scriptures. Wait. I've seen this. This is it. This is the end. Right there, just like that. I, I, I stand here, right here. I'm, I'm supposed to say something. I say everything that has a beginning has an end, Neil. What? What did I just say? shows you the spirit man because he 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 zoned out for a second and that was the spirit and he's like what did i say he's like no i i, I didn't say that you know i i couldn't have said that but that's the spirit man and uh yeah man i'm gonna get the scripture here second ezra nine it's one of my favorite scriptures nine and one he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself so we're supposed to measure okay all right, we're supposed to measure. Let's look up this word measure. You know, measurement's important, man. Like, in, when you go into, um, uh, again, constructing anything, construction, um, any kind of trade, any time, man. It doesn't matter if you're a carpenter, a plumber, a, a, a fucking painter, a, you know, a tiling guy, a flooring guy. You always see the guy come in, the builder or the contractor or the skilled tradesman, and he most likely he has a tape measurement. You know, on the hip, on his hip, and for the reason being of me measurement is very important, right? Measurement is a guideline, right? So the word measure is a verb. Early 14th century to exercise moderation, to deal out or divide up by measure, also to ascertain spatial dimensions, quantity or capacity, of by comparison with a standard. Uh, I'm gonna go down. To measure right and it's pretty self-explanatory if you go to the noun uh, down here it says from French limit boundary quantity dimension occasion time see so we're in the, what time are we in man we're supposed to uh, watch the times diligently measure the times the quantity the limit all right to measure so again did not uh, uh, even John the Apostle John, he said, measure the court, right? In Revelations, if you can get that quickly. Um, this is Revelations 11 and 1. And there was given me a reed like unto a rod. And the angel stood saying, rise and measure the temple of the Most High and the altar. And them that worship therein. And that temple, pursuant to 1 Corinthians 3, verse 16, is dealing with what? The third temple, which is what? New Jerusalem. Which is who? The elect. Revelation 21. I see New Jerusalem come down from heaven. Does that mean, you know, you type in Revelation 21 about New Jerusalem, you know, they have uh, uh, pictures of uh, a damn city, a whole city being transplanted from the heavens, man. It's talking about the people. The people is the third temple. The Lord really doesn't need anything. He didn't need a temple. It was all done through 
you want to get to the bottom of it. It's all at the end of the day vanity, but the Lord construct, you know, he had Solomon constructed, you know, uh, I'm not going to call it complete vanity, but, you know, pursuing the Acts 7, man, it says the Lord dwelleth not in temples made with hands, man. And that's, that's it. Conversation is done, right? The Lord does not dwell in temples made with hands. Simple, right? People want to construct a temple and, oh, look, this is where we worship the Lord. Well, guess what? The, Yahweh Shai said, when two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in the midst. Right? It's a spiritual thing, man. It's a very spiritual thing. You know, I'm not saying the temple was not important and, and the Lord the Lord dealt with the temple. But there was a time when we made it so profane, the Lord wasn't dealing with us, man. He wasn't in the Holy of Holies. You couldn't commune with Him. Because you you read uh, First Maccabees, man, and you understand. What kind of vileness happened there? Right? Um, verse 2, But the court which is without, without meaning outside, right? The temple leave out and measure it not, for it is given unto the Gentiles, and the holy city shall they tread underfoot forty and two months. So see, the other nations don't measure them. Let's look up that word measurement, or measure in the, in the, in the blue letter Greek. Measure, metrio, to measure, to measure out or of or off, sorry. Um, any space or distance with a measure is read or rule. Metaphor to judge according to any rule or standard to estimate. See? So again, going back to Second Ezra 9. We're supposed to look at these things, right? Verse 1, he, he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. What, what time are we in, man? You're seeing every day prophecies are kicking off, man. You're seeing the plagues, man. Read 2nd Ezra uh, chapter 15. You're seeing the, the viruses, the plagues, the earthquakes, the floods, the droughts, man. You're seeing prophecy, real, uh, 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 you know, the credit lines, day in, day out, man. Every day you're seeing prophecy happen in front of your eyes, man. You're seeing the movie roll out right in front of your eyes. What a blessing, it is to be in, uh, to, to live in these times, man. Verse two, or sorry, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, then thou sh then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. The Most High is, is visiting the earth which he made, and he's about and he's about to uh, um, <laughs> he's about to. Like the like uh, the, the elder Howard man on the highways, he said, "Wait till the Most High shows himself a hundred percent. You know, puts himself on a hundred, man. You know that that level because it, it's been on zero for a lot of years, man. A lot of centuries, to be honest. Pursuing to Second Ezra seven, where it says the old, the the world shall be turned into old silence again, and everyone basically the Most High wasn't dealing with anybody here and there, but as a mass." And now people, you know, up to this age now, uh, it's turning right now, but up to this age, what? Oh, God, and we can go to church Sunday, or God doesn't exist, evolution, Big Bang Theory, and, you know, we can do what the hell we want to do. We're proud, we're, we're, we're vain people, we're arrogant, right? God will forgive me later, I, I, or, or, you know, I'll just, I'm just going to hell. I'm a demon, I'm going to hell. You Jake's out there, you, call, you know, you guys are demons, man, free to demons, right? So guess what? You'll get a you'll get a, a, a consolation of a demon, right? And you think it's a it's a joke. Everything's funny, you know. Wait till them uh, uh, you run out of them bullets, man. And you gotta you gotta defend yourself with your two fucking bare hands. You need you need to learn how to use a weapon. You're not conditioned, man. You you know you punch somebody, you'll break your fucking wrist, man. You guys are a bunch of damn sissies. Wait till that shit happens, and you have to strangle a man and watch him die. Watch the watch the spirit come out of him. Watch his uh, 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 life become breathless. Wait till those times, man. You want to talk all this crap. The Most High is going to start bringing your fears upon you. Just like in Batman. When the, in the, in the Batman begins, he's like, would you like to see my mask? He's like, I use it on my patients. And he put that gas out. And whatever your fear is, man, that manifested right there in itself. And the Lord is going to do that, man. He's going to have apparitions and spirits messing up people. You know, uh, someone that's very dear and beloved. You might be a hard guy in the streets, but you have one that one person that's so beloved to you and you just, nobody knows, but you'll just die for them and you'll see them all messed up somewhere in that day. 
begging for their life, man. You, your, your fears, man, since you people don't fear the Most High, the Most High is going to have your fears placed right in your lap, man. And that's going to be a hell of a situation. And that's no joke, man. I'm not here to fear monger. I'm not. This is the deal. We're the seers. We're the prophets of the Lord. We're here to tell you these things. We're not tough guys. We're not wise guys, man, so to speak. <laughs> you know, we're half we're half wise guys. <laughs> it's an inside joke. This is verse 3. It says, um, verse 3, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, there was a thing I had five years ago. It was the earthquake watch every day. And that was five years ago. Every, you, don't even, you don't even have to check. You can guarantee, right? You can bet the house that there's an earthquake today. Whether it's a 5.5, a 6.7. Uproars of the people. Look at France, man. People forgot about Greece. What the hell is going on in Greece? There's a blackout. Spain. All this foolishness, man. Right? Then thou shalt well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. The Most High has spoken these things from the beginning. The book of Genesis, that's not only a historical book, that's a prophetic book as well. For like as all that is made in the world have the beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. How is the end manifest? Let's look up that word manifest, right? That's a good word. Very good word. Manifest. Clearly revealed for us like a late 14th century, clearly revealed to the eye or the understanding. Which the Lord deals with understanding first. He has to unlock your mind. Because we don't see these things with our eyes. Unless you have a dream or a vision or you get in a trance. Which some brothers are, do. I've had a, a few dreams over the years. Some brothers get more deeper dreams. But we get this thing by what? By the spirit of your mind. Your pineal gland. <laughs> okay? It says, uh, open to view or comprehension. That's why Yahweh Shai said, man, blessed are your ears for they hear and your heart for it understandeth, man, and your eyes for they see. From old, fresh, from old French manifest, evident, palpable. Okay? Going back. Uh, and the end is manifest, man. And then, how is the end manifest? We're reading the scriptures. We're reading the prophecies. Read, read all the different books, man. Read, read the book of um, Daniel 7. You'll understand. Read the book of uh, um, uh, uh, Revelations uh, 13 chapter. And these are some deep chapters I'm talking about. But read um, Jeremiah 49, man. Jeremiah 50, 51. Right? Read Ezekiel 38, 37, 38, 39. These are all things, prop, days that we're living in right now. Right? And verse 6 is my point. Even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works and endings in effects and signs and we're seeing those effects and those signs baby we're seeing those things man and you people you can keep playing those games and keep making those stupid ass memes and keep living your dumb ass life your vain ass life okay but there's gonna come a time where there's no more jokes there's no more theories there's just unknown and really you're just going to have to come to the conclusion, yo, those guys in the corner were right. And we cannot explain this any other way, but this is the true power, the creator of the earth, man. His name is, will not be Buddha, Allah, none of those things, man. You're going to understand that it's the Most High, man. And His name is given to a few. But in the kingdom, you'll know His name. right? You're going to praise His name. But you're going to understand these are serious things, man. Verse 6 again. Even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works. Hey, them plain beginnings. The, the flood, was that not a wonder and a powerful work? That changed the, the, the continents. Because at one time, Esau even, even admits it. But he doesn't line it up with the scriptures. But he'll tell you, yeah, all the continents were one. And his, his uh, terminology for that is called Pangea. Pan meaning all, it's a Greek word. Gia meaning earth, all earth. All the continents were one. When you look at a world map, you can look at the different continents and they kind of fit into, uh, fit in together like a jigsaw puzzle. Okay? And that's, that's, for, that's real. Right? 
Um, it says, uh, verse 7, And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. The works, what makes you do the works is your faith. You're not doing this robotically through the motions. You're, you're understanding this is the way, this is what I'm supposed to do as an Israelite. By faith, man. See? Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You have to feel it, man. And it has to move you by the Rachakwadash, the Holy Spirit. Verse 8 shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning, man. And we gotta we gotta go through this shit, man. And really, man, it, when you get on a certain level, you understand that there is no life here. You know, you have, to be honest, all you have, man, is is the brotherhood, the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, the brotherhood. You know, if you have a family, you got you got that burden. If you got a woman, you got that burden. There's there's more burden than benefit there. Believe me, <laughs> okay. But you got that going on. You got your work, and you got your little pastimes, your little pleasures, your your fleshly pleasures in this earth, man. In the book of Sirach, it tells you do your pastime, which is a hobby, your little hobbies, man. You might be into riding motorcycles, you might be playing ball, you might work out, you might be an artist, you might draw or engrave or paint or do something of the like, man. And that's it, basically. Like the brother said, you're in prison. We're in, you know, you got brothers in maximum security, <laughs> you got brothers a uh, level one. You know, some brothers are on lockdown. Everyone got their lot and, and their cross to bear, man. And, he, and we got our little bullshit. Oh, privileges. Oh, he got this and he got that. But we're all in a concentration camp. We're all prisoners of war. POWs, man. Okay? It's 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 one. It's you, you swap one hell for another. Nobody's in heaven here, man. The only people in are in heaven are, are the elite of the of you Edomites. And even these people that are millionaires and you see them, listen man, you can go you can go a flat broke in one day. And that's the worst. You tasted that life and now you're on the you, you know you're you're a damn a uh, 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 a bum. You got your own damn problems now. Real problems. Um verse 9 Then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments, man. Right? A lot of these people, man, a lot of you churchgoers, man, you top church people, you have abused the Most High's ways, man, because you teach, oh, well, the law is not in effect. We don't need to keep the law. God, His name is God. His name is Jesus. You're teaching your congregation all this madness, and you're corrupting the people, man. You're not telling them the truth. Um... And uh, yeah, man, I mean, that was really it. I got to get back to work. But I thought I'd do this quick lesson, man, because, uh, hey, we're in those times of great signs and works, man. And Lord's, the Lord deals in signs and in wonders and in works. Powerful effects. Powerful effects, man. And you're seeing these things, and it's going to happen more and more every day. So with that, I hope you're edified. I want to say, Kal Halalim, La Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rechakwadash, double honors to the apostles of GMS, who I learned the truth from, who rule well. And salutations unto you brothers and a few sisters that take heed in sincerity and in truth. Until next time, Lord's will, I say Shalom.